Hey everyone, I'm Danielle Byington and this is another one of my art and poetry videos. These are videos where I take visual representations I've created, usually paintings, based on poetry I've written and I talk about the meaning, the space in between those two things. So in this video I'm going to be talking about a poem that's in my chapbook. Uh, the poem is titled Words With You In Mind and the theme at large is about Edith Wharton's uh, novel, Ethan Frome, and a sense of time, or rather a loss of time and love. So let's talk about the meaning. I had returned to college as a non-traditional student in spring 2012, and the process was tumultuous at times. Every afternoon, though, during a break in my classes, I would listen to the Diane Rehm show on NPR, and one day she was discussing Ethan Frome. As soon as I had extra time after my last final exam that semester, I read Ethan Frome in one night. I already knew from the Diane Rehm show about the sledding crash in the end, but everything in the novel leading to that moment made me feel as though I, too, were committed to crashing into the big elm at the bottom of Schoolhouse Hill. It became one of my favorite texts. I've even had a chance recently to teach it to my students, and it all felt like a metaphor for the things I endured. I think that's the appeal of poor, battered, and scarred Ethan Frome. He has that large red gash on his face from the sledding accident years before because he, even in the moment of finally following through with something and standing up for what he wants, he slightly veers off course at the last second, and that's remarkably human. So here is a reading of my poem inspired by Wharton's Ethan Frome words with you in mind. One, Ethan Frome and Maddie Silver crushed their sled into a tree, her red scarf whipping his face with finger-laced language till the end, the yarn yearning to tie them together forever. Two, a walnut tree drops its seeds, Grains of sand in autumn's hourglass thudding on the ground like trotting hooves. We are the carriage in tow, no coachman guiding the reins, and there is only the way we want to face each other. Wordless, our knees knowing that we are here, carried in a cloud of spokes winding faster. We are tied to the train tracks, you by me, all of it going by us a minute pleasantly ravished by every second. A wind blares by our sides, like Westminster chimes until we shatter like fine china. Private and public, I look at your face, words in mind. <laughs> 